Welcome back to Iowa Gold Prospectors. Uh, me and Jeff and Mike back back there somewhere. Back over there. Anyhow, uh, we just got done kayaking about uh, three miles up river, and uh, this water is lower than I thought it was. You really had to uh, study the uh, channel and uh, kind of zigzag back and forth in the uh, river. Um, anyhow, let me uh, let me turn the uh, uh, phone around and show you um, where I'm gonna look at. All right, so um, let me just show you what I got here. And where is, where is it at? It's so sad. Iowa gold is so small. So there's about three pieces right there. And I'm, I thought there were some smaller micro dots. I thought I had pretty good black sand. Um, what I'm looking for is right here. These these brown rocks and I gotta get out of the the sunlight I can't see the dam yeah here we go these brown rocks right here usually when I find a lot of those I'm on the gold pretty good so I want to take another um, shovel full from where I'm at I'm thinking about um, moving out a little bit closer to the water. I might shovel out here, but I, I think, I think really I'm going to go down past Jeff there in that uh, neon yellow chartreuse t-shirt he has. And I'm going to go see what Mike is finding. But I got to do one more test pan. What I really should do is do uh, every two feet out, try to find that ribbon of gold, but we're just kind of exploring today, seeing where the possibility of uh, gold is. Um, I did bring my uh, river sluice. If we do hit a, a really good spot, I'm gonna run. Um, so let me, uh, let me get back at it. And I'll bring you back if I find anything better in this next test hole. I am going to bring you back when I'm down uh, working around Mike. Here's the gravels I'm kind of finding. I gotta turn my phone around. I think it's upside down. Oh, 
Are you hitting a big rock there? I can hear you scraping it. All right, it's gonna be heavy. All right, so I, I got to take my shades off. Can't see anything. I don't know if we can. All right, I got one tiny little speck right there. Well, uh, me, Jeff, and Mike have moved to a different location. We were finding gold at that other spot, but uh, uh, this location is just a little gravel bar. We're finding pretty good gold. Right now, I'm uh, classifying a seven gallon bucket. As soon as I'm done, I'm gonna run that. He laughed, but he, he didn't say, uh, no, I haven't. I'm relapsed. All right, I got one piece of gold down here, right there, right in the center of the screen. Bring her up a little bit. Hoping to fill a little bit more up in the blue mat here. Good there. Oh yeah? Yep. You sure? Looks like it. <laughs> Alright. I'll put that in the boat. Uh, one bucket down. Uh, Does it matter? Four's gonna be a bit. Old man? We'll do it. Four? Four buckets? Why don't, you, why don't you sit down and rest that back a little bit? Ah, oh, there's a lot of clay in that.
So Jeff has run uh, four of these three gallon buckets through his sluice. No, and he I'll find it now. He's <laughs> but he just told me that there was gold over here and then somewhere around here. Then he personally pulled the mat out. Kind of looks like a big flake right there. Kind of looks like a big flake right there. I don't know yeah. if that's a yellow rock though. Mm. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at all the gold in your uh, V mat. Is there a lot of gold in there? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> See what I have to put up with, Mike. to be continued when when he's panning that out we'll uh we'll take a look at uh what kind of gold he gets so this is uh where everybody dug at just doing a clean out mike's down here using his hand that's he he doesn't like using a scoop <laughs> Both Jeff and and man, that's a you got a long V mat area. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can't walk out there too far. Wow, look at all that gold in your V mat. Ooh, it it's right the there, again. right where you're dumping in, and it looks like it's squished out. Alright, well, you, you got about as much as I got left. <laughs> At least you're on bucket two. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get you. We'll get you speeding up here pretty soon. Jeff is down to black sand. He's gonna yell at me here in a minute to get going on my stuff. There's no gold in here. Oh, there's no gold. All right. Here, let me. Let me dump this. No, pan. no, no, don't. <laughs> some pretty nice gold in here. Yeah? I see some right there in the corner. Did you get enough uh, jet dry? Mm hmm. All right, well, we'll be back with Jeff here in just a second. So Jeff got done with his cleanup here. Let me come over here and take a look. That's not bad for. The amount of material that he moved. Is that gold up there? That's a rock. You got rocks up top there. No, there's pieces of lead in there. Oh, yeah, pieces of lead. Great pieces of lead. Yeah, all right. So Jeff ran four of these buckets, not completely full, probably two gallons. So eight gallons for, for that gold, and you can see it from five feet away. That's not too awful bad. We're in Iowa, and there's really no gold here, just uh, ground up talcum powder. <laughs> but um, it gives us practice on the equipment that we use. Uh, for when we do go out of state, uh, we can find any gold anywhere else, um, because ours is so small. But some of us are going out of state this year, and some of us are not. All right, what are you doing over there? Are you watering the grass? Watering the brick. Oh. So oh, this is the gold that I found today. And there might be some more up in the uh, black sand there. And I really didn't move a lot of material. Uh, we just got onto this gravel bar probably uh, maybe two, three hours ago. But uh, it's not bad for the small amount of material that I moved. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, this is a wrap, and thanks for watching. 
Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Until next time, I'll see you in the creek.